Jesse and the Hazards have come all the way from Melbourne to share the blues love with Gold Coasters. Nick here is on lead vocals and guitar. Nick, describe the sound for those who are uninitiated. Okay, so it's predominantly blues, but we really like the funk stuff, so I suppose it's dancey sort of funky blues, if anything, yeah. Love it. Cool. Who would you say your influences are? Um, there's probably too many to mention. Um, we like some modern stuff like Bondi Cigars and Jeff Atchison, Aussie Jeff Atchison, um, but even old you know, soul and funk stuff and groove things and the meters and a few of those sort of bands as well. So really the, the groovy funk stuff as well. All right, Dave, I need you to tell us where have you been gigging um, and, and where can we see you coming up? Uh, we've been playing quite a bit in Melbourne and even regional Victoria. We've been playing down in Gippsland. Uh, we've played, where else? Uh, we played on the Blues Train. We played in Bendigo. Sort of, you know, have gear, will travel for <laughs> gigs, you know. Um, and then what have we got next after this? We're going to, yeah, well, we're going to do, it's either going to be an album or an EP, and it depends how efficient we are when we actually get in the studio. So, um, But that's the next plan, and we're doing that in July. So, Look, I'm, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. Tell us about the name. How did Juxie and the Hazards come about? Would you like the short story or the long story, Louise? Either way. All right. So um, I used to play in a band years and years ago down in Gippsland where I grew up with a couple of mates, and a, um, we always thought it was quite funny to come with a different name each week and they'd write it on the chalkboard out the front of this old dodgy pub and we thought it was hilarious. In hindsight, it probably wasn't that good because every week they probably thought it was a different band where we were trying to get people along every week and think, this band's great. But one of those was Juicy and the Hazards and we used to think, oh, ha, ha, that was great. And then when we started this, it sort of stuck and next thing you know, yeah, so it's a bit tongue-in-cheek, but okay. yeah. Is there a general Lee? No, that's a good question. No? no. What about um, Daisy Duke? No, 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 nothing like that at all. We've sort of, yeah, we've gone with it. We maybe didn't think about the name too much and we just sort of stuck with it and then didn't follow through with any of the uh, characters, unfortunately. But <laughs> any suggestions are welcome. Tell me about some of the achievements that the band is, is proud of. Um, well, staying together this long is probably <laughs> the, the number one, you know. It's really tough being around these guys. Sure. But um, I guess recording a couple of albums together and um, having some success, you know, getting them played here and overseas. It's been great and then being able to sort of travel around and, and play our music and you know do something play something that we really love and have people enjoy it it's been great yeah yep. and if if you guys could jam with absolutely anyone living or dead who would it be oh that's that's really that's tough um i'd love to play my favorite organ player of all time jimmy smith who's no longer with us i'd love to play with him have a jam with him you know that'd be pretty amazing yep. what about the rest of you my gosh um Oh, this is really tricky, isn't it? Um, maybe stuff like, like, I don't know, not that it's our sort of sound, but, you know, guys like Stevie Wonder and that sort of thing, that's always pretty cool musically and crosses a few genres. And Yeah, maybe Stevie, that'd be cool. Okay, anyone else? Uh, Some of the guys from Steely Dan, I reckon. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be good. good. I'll vouch for that. Me, All right. Adrian, um, now you're behind AuthenticDrummer.com. Yeah, a little side thing, yeah. little side thing. I actually stumbled on your videos on YouTube and was really, really impressed. Obviously, educating aspiring drummers or sharing your talents is, is a passion of yours. Yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been a teacher for a long time, so I thought um, uh, doing some online stuff which seems to be the way of the future. So, uh, you know, it turns out I wasn't as uncomfortable in front of the camera as I thought I was going to be. So, uh, yeah, putting myself on YouTube was a bit weird at the start, but um, it's been good, good response so far. You do a great job, AuthenticDrummer.com for those of you who are interested. And also before we go, this is, this is a, a quick one. Um, if you were to achieve success, say on the level of U2 success, what is one thing you'd put on your rider? Ooh, I reckon doves in the bathtub is pretty good. <laughs> or swans, I'm happy with swans. swans. Yeah. Uh, Dave? Uh, I, I'd just go with a really good masseuse. That would be great. Yeah. A masseuse is good. Now, this is a really tough one, pretty extravagant, but maybe just like a um, chicken schnitzel burger <laughs> straight after the gig. That's usually a favourite. So. Snitchels in the toaster. Now, that's that's a common bachelor sort of thing. So about eight times in the toaster. So if, if you'd have someone to actually cook it for him, it'd save a lot of time backstage. So. I love it. Okay, that's a good one. Jarrah? Um, I reckon I might splash out and sort of pay for a personal a nurse or doctor so I can have an IV drip ready for the next morning after the gig. Good That'd be call. great. Good call, good call. Yeah, like all right, make sure you check out uh, jukesyandthehazards.com for all the band info and make sure you come and check them out at Blues on Broad Beach. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much.